going solo, Briley decided she wanted the week off to enjoy some summertime fun. Um, this week I'm going to be making a dumbbell rack for my husband's home gym. The rack that I'm using as a point of reference is the Rogue Universal rack. It comes in a lot of different sizes and different features, um, but we're going to go with the 76 inch rack for this build. Uh, material you're going to use is some 12 gauge sheet steel, 2x2 two two angle, 1x1 one one square tubing, 2x2 two two square tubing, and some 2 inch by 3 inch rec tubing. Um, this is going to be a pretty big job, so you might need another set of hands. Um, I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to do this all right all by myself. Okay, so let's get started making our rack. So first things first, we're going to lay out the shelves for the weight rack. Um, so this is where we're going to take one of those 72 inch pieces of sheet steel, two of those one by one pieces of square tubing. You're going to want to secure them, clamp them up um, along that piece of sheet steel. And then two of these pieces of angle, these 14 inch pieces of angle, and they're going to cap either end. Um, just note the one um, side of the piece of angle is actually going to go um, on the top side of this shelf. This is the bottom side of the shelf that we're actually looking at. So make sure you get this nice and clamped up, everything's nice and squared up, then weld it out. I would recommend just stitch welding this out. Um, no need to, to you know, run 72 inches of weld on either side of this. That would be a bit, a bit heinous and a lot of extra work that's probably not needed. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this clamped up and weld it up, and then after that, we'll be on to the next shelf. We don't want those uh, dumbbells to slide out. So this can have a piece of angle um, with a lip on the top side so it's able to catch anything that might slide. Um, but other than that, it's the same thing, one inch by one inch square tubing on the back, those two 14 inch uh, pieces of angle to cap off the ends. And we're gonna do the same thing, three inch stitch weld, space six inches apart. Um, so I got this side tacked up, I'm gonna measure it out, weld it up, and we'll be on to the next step. So I'm going to take that long 72 inch uh, piece of 2x2 two two square and then that 24 inch piece of 3x2 rec tubing. I'm going to find center on the end of that 2x2 two two, which is the 1 inch mark. On um, this 24 piece I'm going to find center at the 12 inch mark. Um, now you're going to line those up. We're going to weld these completely out on both sides and then we'll be ready to take that last piece of these uh, two 2x2 two two square pieces of tube. And then we're going to want to find and mark, obviously, center to center it up here with this center 72-inch um, piece. And um, these, we're going to want to have the spacing between them at, um, I believe it was 72 and 5 eighths. So um, 72 and 5 eighths because that little bit extra was added on because we added that angle onto the either side of the shelves. So that'll make sure that they sit in um, nicely and then we'll weld them up onto this mast um, with the one rack going to be at an angle. And um, so we're just about done with this. So we're going to get this welded up, put these on, and then we'll be ready to set our shelves. square tubing so that's going to be you're going to do the seven inch mark and then a one inch mark on that square tubing 
Um, then you're just going to want to uh, make sure you do some really nice welds all around. And then we're going to set the, um, the angled one, and that's going to be the lower shelf. So for now, I'm going to get to work on this top shelf, and then we'll get ready to put that one in. to that lower angled shelf. The top shelf that's sitting completely flat, I did do reinforced welds on this. I didn't just do single passes. So on the square tubing on either side, I did a three pass fillet. And then on the, uh, the bottom side there where that angle meets the square tubing, I did do two passes on that um, just to have as much um, weld there as possible to really enforce the fact that it's gonna be holding a crap ton of weight. Um, and then again, I, I, I did it across the top too. I only did a single pass there. Now for this lower shelf, I put this on an angle that's kind of preference. The, again, the one that I'm modeling off of um, from the website, I did have a, a lower shelf that was on an angle. So I kind of went off that idea. So I like 25 degrees. So that's what I'm going to use. Um, you're going to need an angle finder for this or you can go off my measurements here. So from the top of this two inch by three inch square, or rec, rec tubing rather, I marked out 15 inches in the front and 15 and three quarter on the back side of that um, support. And that'll give you that 25 degree angle. Of course, you wanna find center on the end of your shelf and then center on that square tubing uh, to make sure that this is lined up nice and you know center in the middle. And then you're gonna to wanna to check for levelness going across the front. Um, so I already did that, so I got this is all tacked in and ready to go. I'm going to do the same thing, multi-pass welds, wherever I can put them. Um, so I'm going to do uh, three on the top, three on either side, and then probably um, a two-pass lap joint on the underside. Once I finish welding it out, I'm going to clean up um, all the corners, round them off, because I don't want to, you know, snag or, or bust a shin on especially the lower shelf there. Um, so I'm just going to round them off real nice. And um, then I bought some, uh, I think it's like truck bed liner paint, spray paint. Um, so that's what I'm gonna cl clean this up with and, and spray it down with some black uh, bed liner paint. Hopefully that'll be nice and durable for when we're clanking down weights on top of it every day. Um, so this is pretty much is gonna finish out this build. I'm gonna show you it all painted up and installed there in the corner in just a minute. texture and a nice rubberized coating. Cleaned up the corners really nicely. Um, all in all, I think this thing is going to work perfectly in our garage gym. Um, and in just a second, I'm gonna show you what it looks like with all the weight on it. Okay, I got the rack totally complete. It's painted, loaded up with all the weights. Now we're ready to rock and roll and get to work in the gym. I uh, hope you guys like this video. I hope it will add some value to your home gyms. Um, now I got five more pounds to lose. See ya.